Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1992 Fleer Ultra Series 2 Baseball. This is not going to be a, a very long um, video because there's n really not a lot to say about the, the 92 Ultra Series 2. Um, it, it was still a very simple release because it was basically the, the cards, which look great. I love the way the 92 release looks. No parallels and very, very, very few inserts in packs. So it's a pretty straightforward affair. Now the main reason this is short is because at least with Series 1 they have a whole bunch of stars. So you can talk about Ken Griffey Jr., Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken Jr., um, Barry Bonds, uh, Big Mac, Frank Thomas, all of those players. Series 2, they weren't, they weren't staggering the stars yet. So they didn't leave hardly any stars for Series 2. And this may have been a release where they had to learn that lesson. So I did get one complete set in, in packs. And it's, um, I'm, I'm really, 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 really glad about that because I got it for Series 2. I already have the Series 1. I just needed to get this set. So I got it hoping to get a, a set, and I did. So it, it's complete. And I got virtually every single um, sort of star as doubles. So I'll show you what, uh, who's it, almost everybody of note in the set. So we got Jim Abbott. We got, I got two Kenny Loftons. I got Scott Brocious. I got Omar Vizquel. I got Sammy Sosa, Eddie Murray, and then Rod Beck. And that is the, that's the, the big highlights in the main set for the set. Almost everybody of note. So you can see that basically as far as veterans go, you got Eddie Murray and you got Sammy Sosa. For rookies, you know, you got Rod Beck and uh, I guess maybe Scott Brocious, uh, Kenny Lofton. Th th just, it's, it's unfortunately weak for a Series 2 set. Um, so the big thing to talk about is the inserts. And I got one, two, three all-rookie teams, including Kenny Lofton. So I got the... Um, the big star of of this set and then i get to say that i have a pat mahomes rookie um, and then for the all-stars i got ken griffey jr in fact ken griffey jr i got that in the very first pack and then i got kenny lofton in the second pack and then in the third pack i got ryan or not third pack it was like the fifth pack i got ryan sandberg from all-stars so that's how i started this box which got me excited but the other stars were roberto kelly Barry Larkin and Tom Pagnazzi. So, um, yeah, it it, uh, it dried up in a hurry, uh, but still, that's it's a good combination. Uh, Kenny Lofton, Ken Griffey Jr., and Ryan Sandberg. Those those three right there. Those are really good. Um, re well, basically, this is the the whole reason for the box. Other than getting a set, these were the ones that justified the box. And they kind of justified it. So that was that was the the thing. This is a case where it's it's about if you can get it cheap, great, because you're not going to get much from it. That said, the cards look really good. They really do. Uh, I I think that '93 is uh, has got to be a better year, but still, for '92, these are these are among the best cards in 1992. So going through and oh yeah, Wade Box. So that was the other. That was I think he was the only player of note I did not get a double of. So that's th there. I got him right there. But as you go through the cards, they really do look good. They really look nice. That's the advantage that this box has. So it's not a box to spend money on because you're going to get cool or you're going to get great cards. It's a money. It's a box that you get when you're not spending a lot of money, so that you can just enjoy a time when cards were built to celebrate players and to just look amazing, to celebrate the game. That's what cards were built around at this time, and it's a a wonderful treat to be able to sit and enjoy these enjoy these cards and enjoy these images that's that's the the whole thing and i really did enjoy it in fact what was really nice about this was the fact that these cards almost weren't even stuck together a few cards had to be a little bit helped but for the most part they just fell apart they didn't stick together which a lot of times i think 93 is worse than 92 but still a lot of times you can open up a pack and they're all gone when 
let's see. I think it was... I can't remember if... I, I already opened an, uh, a Series 1 of this and then a Series... I guess it was a Series 1 of the 93 set. And one of them was just a mess between the two. But this one was so nice that it actually... Um, you know, the cards just kind of fall into my hands and it's, they look great. They really do. So that's, that's the beauty of it. This is a card set to where you get to really enjoy the craftsmanship of the cards. That's, that's what I got to say. So please don't break the bank on a series two series one. Okay. You might want to spend some money on that, but series two, not so much. Um, but again, I'm really glad I was able to get a complete set because it helps me out a whole lot. And it's the whole reason I got the box. Um, the uh, last thing I want to say is I pulled these three cards aside because they did have some damage up on the, on the top where I guess that was from the packaging. Uh, nobody of note, and I didn't need them for the set, which is good, but that was the only actual damage that happened in this box. Otherwise, everything came th through well. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.